It's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. Good morning. We're coming to you today from this beautiful McLeod Park campground yep. here in Kiln, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pronounced Kiln because it's K-I-L-N, but it's locals say it's called pronounced Kill. Yeah, they say the N is silent. Yeah. About maybe 10 miles north of Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Oh, yeah, we had some fun yeah. there yesterday, didn't yeah, we, Michael? Yeah. As always, we're going to do the campground drive through during a campground drive through we're going to share with you some of the things that we've done in our stay here in the area. And after that, we're going to do the site walk around. Mm -hmm. And we do this for every, every campground, campground, every site, every, every time. time. Here we go. Campground drive through of McLeod Park. McLeod Park Campground. Well, the whole park. Make, I have a hard time saying it McLeod, pronouncing it McLeod, looking at that spelling. But <laughs> that's exactly how they pronounce that's it. That's how they pronounce it. Just like I would pronounce Kiln, Mississippi, when the locals say the N is silent. Correct. Kill, Mississippi. So anyway, here's the entrance, front entrance. Uh, you need a code to get in and out, in which we do have. And every time, yeah. not just after hours, but every time you come through the gate, you need to yeah, put your time. code in. In the office building right there, we should say there's laundry, uh, real nice restrooms, <clears throat> a little store with just your basic essentials. Yeah, they really, have, really nice people. They sell crickets. You oh, they do sell live oh, bait. Well, yes, we can't pass this up. Look at this beautiful Look playground. Look at this playground, y'all. Wouldn't the kids and grandkids love that play area? The playground is really, really nice. It's all new. You have picnic Sweet. tables all over the place, and shade. It made us want to go play on it, didn't yeah, Michael? We have slides. It's so shaded. They have magnolia trees, oak trees, a few pine trees. Watch out for these babies. Now I'll let you know. This is a very busy campground. Yes, it very is. busy campground. There are a lot of a lot of uh, campers out here, and um, it's very lively. We have campsites 118 through 134. It's going to be difficult to call out these spots. So that's 118 where that Flagstaff is. Yep, 118 to 134. Yeah, on and then there's street. 120s on the right side. Mm -hmm. And we're in 121, and you'll see our retro off Barely. to the right. <laughs> if you look real hard. Yeah. So that'll let you know it's it's kind of a tight a tight fit in here. Not kind of. They are very tight. Yeah, here. they're very tight. To the point where you can see your neighbor's sewer hose when you're sitting yeah. at your picnic table. <clears throat> the map the map that they give you or the map you'll see online is pretty accurate how the, the campground's laid out. Mm -hmm. So it is. You know, since we're not gonna be able to really call out the sites. Well they're not labeled clearly either. No, you not. have a hard time finding where the number is. It's not on the post and it's not on the electric box on, on all of them. Yeah. By the time we get to the number that we can read, we're already past it and you can't see Probably it Probably about camera. four spots past it because they're so yeah. close to each other. So the last one on, on the right side is going to be 134. But Michael, we do need to say they are concrete pads. Yeah, they are. They're, they're concrete pads. They're pretty, and they are level. They're, they're level. Oh, this, they're just not spacious at all. You'll see at, uh, at the site walk around, the sewer connection for our site is just a stub up of a... Um, yeah, they need to see the reality of this. The um, the the sewer connection for our site, 121, is just a stub up of a PVC line. There's no way to screw it on and, and secure it. And secure it. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't 
connect anything. I'm going to uh, take care of that before we leave, but I didn't want to leave it out all weekend. Right. And we didn't want anybody tripping over it. <laughs> yeah. Because there are people coming and going all over. Our, our so side. in here we have, well, I don't We're know how to We're going in it backwards, it. but you get an idea of what it's like. But um, So when we say that this campground is very busy, you have an idea. You see it. Let right. me... While this car is backing out. Yeah, we've adjusted the camera so that you can see. How busy it is. We favored the left side so that you can see. This is the middle. That's a nice looking ramp. We were on the back side of this loop, right, Michael? Yes. So we had greenery and a little forest area behind our campsite, but this is right in the middle of the loop, and you can see there are just vehicles everywhere. Wait, what side is that? That's 141 right there. It looked like Scott. It does look like Scott's rig. Integra, is that what theirs was? That's not Scott. No. But that site where the Integra is, you can see the number. Look back there. Yeah, it's 141. 141. So, yeah, it's like that. It's just what you're seeing on the left is on the right. It's, they're just, I don't know how else to say it. They're just jammed up. <laughs> it's, yeah, they're jammed up. It's the, the, the trees, there's plenty of trees around here. Mm -hmm. You plenty of shade. You're going to have a shady spot mm -hmm. no matter where you, where you come around here. Well, except on the north end, but you'll see that in a minute, too. But you may have the concern of the limbs being on your on your rig, too, because there are low branches. But see, like this, how people park, this is just, you can't get around it. There's vehicles everywhere. You, know, so, you just have to um, plan for that when you visit. They can't all be Lake Claiborne, I guess. Yeah, they can't all be Lake Claiborne. Watch this, baby. <clears throat> I see. I'm going to be like that the whole drive, y'all, because there are kids everywhere. We've had kids come just right out in front of us while we've been here, haven't we, baby? Yeah. There was a little boy that came right out in front of us without even looking up. And yeah. he was crossing a road right and in front one, of a vehicle. At one time, he looked up and saw us coming and, and just, just walked kept walking. Yeah. And y'all, our, our truck is diesel. You can hear us coming. So, you know, so, don't uh, worry about that. <clears throat> so, anyway, um, let's see. I wish I could really help you guys with the with the drive around. We're gonna put the, the map numbers. at the beginning of the video, so um, you'll be able to see. I tell you what, let's go hit this little cul-de-sac straight ahead. Okay. Let me um. No, I think we should me... go down that way next. It's just the natural flow of it. Well, okay. Well, I know, but there's really no natural flow to this thing. But at, at some point, I got to get that cul-de-sac. Okay, you're right. Let's go do that first then. Okay, let me and turn. then we can come back and go yeah, this way. turn the camera. I hope we can get out of that cul-de-sac. Yeah, we can get out of it. There is a beautiful river here. We can't deny that. The Jordan River. Oh, my goodness, Michael. Yeah, we did some canoeing. We did some canoeing. There are canoe rentals here, and they are very reasonably priced. I think we did half a day for fifteen dollars. Yeah, and they do have hold. Now that's at the time that we rented okay. it, but I'm not gonna drive all the way down there because there's a little kid. Yeah, and there's there's really not a whole lot to see. It, well, there is a turnaround. Yeah, no, no campers I'm back not there. going back there. Okay. No. All right. Anyway, you get a good shot of the river Careful. here. Yeah, so we canoed all around the the campground where you put in. We'll show you that in a little bit. There is a cut through that goes out to the river, and we found oh, that's where we did our opening, right? We yeah, found one a secluded of the spot yeah, on the sandbar bank. around that bend is where we did our opening. Now we're back in the campground area. Up there's the playground. See the basketball goal in the distance. And it's about to get real congested with campers, right, Michael? Yeah, it sure is. Hey, babe. And this is our boating dog, Jelly Licious, living her best life. If anybody was wondering, I'm quite sure they got some alligators up in here. <laughs> we haven't seen any. People terrified to go anywhere around here because of gators. But I tell you what, this is. 
that's the Jordan River, the uh, campground on the river. Park campground. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the clarification there, Mama. Cloud Park Campground. Right? It really is a nice little river here. It's not our first canoe ride. Right? Little Black Creek in Lumberton it has a really nice lake to take canoes out on. So you can look for that video above. I think it's fifteen dollars for half a day for the canoe, yeah, which they consider a half a day is like four hours. Right. It was nice. It, it was, was uh it was peaceful out that way. Yeah, it was like a lazy river, right? It wasn't rushing water. Yeah. And at the time that we went out on the canoe there weren't that many boats, but on our way back to return the canoe, we noticed there were a lot of boaters out. Now this one looks more spacious, but that's because <clears> more <throat> trailers have pulled out. We see some empty spots. Did we call out the numbers on that cul-de-sac back there? We didn't show them. No, we did not. Them. We did not. So I'll right put it here, on text overlay. You see a bathhouse right here, and these bathhouses are spotless. They are so nice, y'all. Yes. Really nice. Another random twenty-five. We in the club, baby. We in the club. I bet our viewers miss you talking about those twenty-five. They do. So. Want to go this way first? No, I just want them oh. to see the sign because I don't. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're headed to campsites 37 to 58. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. And this is the, the way to the uh, canoe rentals. Right. And there's another cul-de-sac back here that has some really pretty spots. Yeah. We thought, I think there are four spots on this little bitty cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. There, I would imagine, well, the, I think the, um, the lake lots are, are a little bit more expensive, but you get your little family get together and you get this one cul de sac yeah, over here, the whole and then your whole family can have it. It's, I think it's four spots and it's right on the river. But you know, there's so many people coming and going, and it's uh, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's just that our, our experience here on this weekend, I don't know. It's a different kind of campground. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's not. It's not <clears throat> really what we enjoy, but we did enjoy what the campground has to offer, like the river, the um, the nature trail. The nature trail was yeah. beautiful. Nature we really in love. We really enjoyed that. Okay, since uh, there's really no place for me to turn around in this, in this cul-de-sac. That's called Rotten Bayou Circle. Those are beautiful sights <clears throat> all facing the water. I'll pull in a little bit. Rotten Bayou Circle. You can't go wrong with those sights. They all face the water, right, yeah, Michael? Yeah, they do. Well, no, all but one. No, one doesn't. The one in the back. Yeah. But like we said, Michael was saying, that would be a good place for a family to, to all get those yeah. spots. You get four, you know, you, four families. You know, your kids, yeah, or your friends. Great. That would be a good gathering spot right there. Now we're on Jimmy Lake Drive. And this one is also yeah, with the view of the, the river. Yeah, so let me turn a little bit and you'll see this little thing right here. That building, that's another bathhouse right there. You need to tell them about that, how yeah, awesome it, it is, is on the inside. It is new and one door is, you open one door and it's a room all, for you, all to yourself. It's got the, the, the sink, the toilet, and the shower all in that one room you can lock up. These are, these are the canoes we rented that number six. And the boat launch is right here. Yeah. Not just the canoe launch, but the boat launch is right there. And there's a little pier right there, I guess, to either get on your boat. Which is handy yeah. when you forget yeah. things in your truck and you have to jump out the canoe. Yeah, when you have to, <laughs> when you have to paddle back to the truck. <laughs> to get something. Okay, so I don't think we can get both the river and the camping. Okay, hold around. on. This is campsites 42 to 57. Yeah, let me pull around and let this guy pass me up. Okay. And that way you can see the river. 
It's a beautiful river. And then I'll turn the camper, the camera toward the campground. You know, this is the perfect kind, perfect size river to do kayaking and canoeing. Yep. Because the way I call it a lazy river, just because it's so peaceful to be out on a canoe. You don't have to do a lot of work, right? Yep. The flow is just so gentle and. Um, so we're starting at site 42, and it keeps on going. So you can see these sites. And again, as you can see, they're all concrete. They have, uh, this side is pretty new. It does look The picnic compared. tables uh, are, are relatively new. Most of the sites are level. They look like you have a grill. I, I don't see designated fire pits. I see little areas where people have been burning. And of course, with the river on the right side, there are no spots over here, and they don't allow you to park on the right side by the water. Which I, you know, that's good because yeah. you wouldn't be able to see the view, right? Yeah. There are vehicles there. You have a wooded area backed up to all the sides. So that we went to, I mentioned a nature trail. We walked the nature trail yesterday afternoon. Oh my God, followed along the river. Yeah, the nature trail uh, is handicap accessible it, uh, for, for, the, for most of it. Right. Uh, there's a good part of it that follows the river and it's white sand. Oh, really pretty back here. This is very pretty. I can see the sand beyond you. <laughs> We're gonna check your traps. What? We're gonna check your traps. Yeah. I'm trying to be recorded, huh, baby? What? I'm trying to be recorded. Yep. Being recorded. Oh, over here, baby. Oh, I think she found a patch of grass. <laughs> It's really, really nice. It's really nice. And of course, palmettos were back there too. Yeah, that was pretty. And we even came upon a little swampy mm -hmm. area that had cypress trees growing back there. Yeah. And um, the wild roses. Have we even mentioned those yet? I, oh I'm, my goodness. Yes. I mentioned, um, I'll say it again, that these wild roses that you see the white ones, the town of Roseland was named after these white roses. Roseland, Louisiana. Yeah, Roseland, we are Louisiana. in Mississippi right now. And we have a uh, very dear family in Roseland. We absolutely do. All right, so here we go. We left that little spot. And now we're going to head over to, um, I should straighten the camera out there yeah. to this turn. I'll straighten it out when we get on there. And here's the public boat launch area. Public access, yeah. Let me turn the camera straight. I see a huge parking lot. Oh, you turn it. There. Yeah, a huge parking lot to park your truck and trailers once you put your boat in. We saw party barges, bass boats. Canoes, there kayaks, yep. Uh, wave runners. Wave runners. Yeah, yes, sea was, mm -hmm. The river got very busy. That as passport the day and at Springdale, that's sites 60 and 61. And straight ahead is the public beach. Someone did get stuck in there while we were here. Yep. Yeah, they drove right by that sign that says no motorized vehicles <laughs> and got stuck. The sign clearly says for traffic only, so yeah. Somebody challenged that, didn't Flip. they? Flip. <laughs> so here's the back loop. Hope the uh, glare is not going to be too bad. A lot less trees out Watch here. I mean, babies. there's a lot of trees, but a lot less shade. Let me say that. See, she's trying to pull away, so watch her. <clears throat> I may turn so the camera. 
see how she's running out. Be careful, baby. I'm watching her. I'm watching her. So there's another nice bathhouse. Yeah. On the right. I went ahead and turned the camera to the left again. Okay. Look at that big old red rig there. It's a beacon. Man, oh, that's massive. That's a beacon. I like all the windows though. That's <clears> nice. <throat> yeah. The um these on the left side, they have the river on the back side of it. You back up to the river. There's a couple on the right side. You can have a good view of the river through those campers. Yeah. I'm going to leave the camera facing that okay. way so when we come back, it'll look at all that. Oh, okay, too. gotcha. Great. Uh, we do have a couple of spots over on this end that we think would be really nice. Um, R7, which we have, I will show that to you in a minute. And R31 is coming up on the left side. It's the most private spot yes. in the largest area. There it Let's is see. right there. I can just turn a little bit so you guys and What's the name of this one again? I mean the number, baby. R31. R31. Yeah. R31 is a nice spot. You come over here by yourself. You back up to the water. It's kind of private. And your nearest neighbor, you can see the distance right there. Yeah. You have a nice big area. And you, I mean, really. That's the spot we wanted to get. We were kind of last minute on uh, reserving this. Yeah, so we ended up with 121 because that R was the availability. Yeah, or 30 doesn't look too bad. But again, here you are, and you can see these sites are really close. They're all concrete and they're all pretty level. Mm -hmm. um, these are more clearly marked, too, I noticed. Yeah. You have a grill, sewer, all, it looks like full, full hookups nicer picnic tables back here they look yeah. newer ours had a big old crack off the end not a crack but a chunk missing out of it lots of neighborhood gatherings back here yep a whole bunch of that Look at that river view. <clears throat> oh, you're on the other side now. Yeah, now we're on the other side. Oh, where that Ram 3500 is? That's a 35. Mm -hmm. Sure is a 35. Dooley. 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 Maybe now's a good time to talk about the golf carts since that one just passed. Well, they say you're not supposed to have gasoline engine. Well, they carts. say means they have it in writing. Yeah, in it's the in paperwork writing. they that, give you. Only electric carts are allowed out here, but we don't think they enforce that. Mm, really they don't much. enforce that at all because they come and go yeah. all day long. So I was kind of going through the rules long. and wondering which one of them can I break. Right. <laughs> so straight up here, uh, uh, coming up in, in camera view is site R7. Now that was also yes. kind of all by itself right yeah, there. Yeah, it's a little bit I'm looking at it. And it's got full hookups, mm -hmm. and you have a little bit of a view of the river right there. Mm -hmm. The cut through where yeah, you go out through. to the river. Now, the yeah. only drawback might be is you have people could walk over there and start fishing right there by your site, but I don't think it'll be a big problem. Yeah. So, say that kind of site nice. number again, baby. Site R7. R7. R7's a good spot. So, R7, and what was the one over here in the car? R31. R31. So, R7 or R31, if you're looking for privacy. <clears throat> yeah. Right. As much as you can get here at this campground. Yeah, because it is a pretty busy campground. It is a very busy. And this loop we're on right now is really new. Very busy campground. We have concrete. I think I said it a bunch of times. Yeah. And there's yeah, another new bathhouse right there. Like I said, it's it's private. Each door has its own room. It's like a bathroom, a, yeah. a full bathroom with one door, which is great for families with children. Yeah. If you got, you can get your babies all showered up and dressed without anyone 
without having to do it in the bathroom stall like I did whenever my babies were little. Yep. You know, you got privacy in there with your all your kids, so that's good. So you can see the other side. We're on our this way out. This is where the little girl was. Be careful. Yep. I'm a worry wart, y'all. Look at that wrangler. Getting tipsy? Getting tipsy. <laughs> I like seeing a lot of Jeeps though, because you know, I'm a Jeep owner. So. Yeah. And there's that public beach again. And it does have, you walk down to the water there, okay. and there's a little sandy spot. So uh, we're back to the boat launch. So we've made the loop. You've seen pretty much the, the whole area, but we are going to drive back through one more spot and let you have a better look at the uh, playground. Yes, because it is, look at look, there's <clears> the water. There's the uh, launch. We went to uh, Bay St. Louis, which is a real nice, this is a nice location if you want to go do the tourist thing in Bay St. Louis, check out the shops. Uh, what did we go, do in Bay St. Louis? We went and rode our bicycles. We went across that Bay Bridge. And but I want to say once you cross that bridge, there is the nicest little park, Henderson Point, under the Bay Bridge. It's all shaded, and there's playground equipment. There's a little gazebo over there. Yep. So check that out if you're ever in the area. How far away is Bay St. Louis Bay? About ten miles. About ten miles. So it's. Uh, yeah, about 10 miles. It was worth it to us, though, because it's it's really a nice little town over there. Yeah. And, um... We rode on the beach. We actually rode on the beach, yeah. in the sand, with our electric <clears throat> bikes. <laughs> Also, right up the road is this little uh, cafe called Dockside. Man, was that they good. Some good. The crawfish there. kickers. Oh, we man, highly recommend awesome. the crawfish kickers. There's and an I had a, I had, yes, an appetizer. I had the shrimp po' boy and Michael had the cheeseburger boy and it was more food than we could eat. We had to get go boxes. All right, so here's the park. Some more of the park on the back side. You can see there's a basketball court. And there's yeah. a splash pad. Yep, there's a splash pad behind the, the basketball court. It's really, really nice. You know, the grandbabies who yep. all play basketball would love this park. So let me, I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit to the right. I want to show off that pavilion. Okay. And then there's another set, another bathhouse. I don't know. I haven't been in that one. That just might be a change room or a bathroom. Because it is way smaller than the others. We don't want to miss right. the splash pad. All right. Okay. We're not going to miss the splash pad. Let me turn the camera again. All right. So there's the splash pad. It's all wet out there. So you can go splashing. Well, that's important. You know, in summertime. I know. They had it on yesterday. They mm -hmm. had it running. You can see it's been running. Yeah, and there's beautiful oak trees. Look at that. And there's another pavilion out that way. And that's the trailhead. And it is such a peaceful trail back there. Yep. And it's gravel part of the way, and there's some wooden bridges. There's also an overlook. It's really nice. Yeah. You're surrounded by nature when you walk up that, what do you call that? It's an overlook. You walk out to the overlook 
Oh and yeah, and you're in that little. Uh, yeah, we took some photos there. It was very peaceful yeah. and quiet. drive and show them that was pretty much the campground folks so mm -hmm. we drove down on every road on every uh, loop when you exit the campground there is another gate yeah so you uh, can't just go through you have to let wait. me let me squeeze in we, we also while camping here we also went over to the infinity science center <gasps> yes so I was like a kid I was like a, a, a <laughs> an eight-year-old kid running around touching and, and, and playing well, with the little things. It's and very interactive. Fun. It's yes, it very is. interactive. So we highly, highly recommend you take your children over there. Baby, where are we? Earth to Michael, come in Michael. Earth to Michael, are you there? Baby, we have a problem. <laughs> Probably another 10, a 10, 10 mile, 10 minute drive. And if you come down, what is it, I 10 or I 12? Which interstate I, is that? You can see it from the interstate. Interstate 10. Interstate 10. The Coming big rock. Coming into Mississippi westbound. Yeah. Oh, it's right on the state line. Yes, it is. Yeah, Louisiana, Mississippi state line. But we, we actually went in there and enjoyed it so much. Very nice, well done um, Infinity Center. Stennis. Yeah, the, Center. it's it's um it's a little annex to the Stennis Space Center. Mm -hmm. There's actually a rocket booster, a few of them. Yep, you'll and, see those. Uh, you know, a lunar see landing that's the, that's right. module. So that was cool. Hurricane simulator. A hurricane simulator. Yeah, I got footage of that. <laughs> I wasn't no 70 mile an hour wind. I wasn't no 70 mile an hour wind. This My hair's not even this messed will up. This explain why your hair is poking through your bike helmet later. <laughs> so we mentioned our little uh, excursion out to Bay St. Louis, riding our bikes, and we also walked around and saw some of the artwork. Oh, oh my God, the angel sculptures. Yeah. Y'all, I've seen them online, photos and such, and, and a few times in other people's videos, but you need to see the angel sculptures. They are so, well, we got a little bit of footage of it, but, and the story behind it is so moving, Michael, yep. having to do with survivors clinging to the tree during Hurricane Katrina, and it saved yep. their lives. It was just, but yeah, those angel sculptures are beautiful. Yeah.
Hurricane Katrina, Bay St. Louis redid that whole area mm -hmm. and it is so much nicer now than it was. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the post Katrina area is really, really beautiful. Yeah, make sure if you come to this campground, like Michael said, it's about 10 miles. Is that what you said, baby? Yeah. It's worth the trip into Bay St. Okay. Louis. Nice little restaurants to eat. Yep. It's just a nice little beach town feel to it. All right, folks. Well, here's the retro again. So, um, hang out for that site walk around. All right, folks. Site walk around. 121. Let's start from the street. You can see the, the site next to us. They have a parking lot for the their ATVs. You can see it's pretty uh, pretty congested campground, and it's a pretty lively campground too. Pan right here because that sun's about to get in that lens. All right, I'm walking in the street. Give you a better idea of the room we have. Ideally, I would prefer to have a whole lot more space in between the campers. The uh, the slab, the pad itself is really level. concrete our picnic table is kind of worn but um put a cover on it it gets good to go the fire I mean a barbecue pit or grill there's no real fire pit here no fire ring we have uh, full hookups here I didn't connect the, the uh, sewer connection yet. You can see right there our neighbor's uh, connections. I didn't hook up the sewer because we don't have a, it's not a good connection. And I didn't want it flopping around. There's a lot of, there's a lot of traffic around this place. behind the camper. Got a bunch of these uh, wild roses blooming right now. FYI, Roseland, Louisiana is named after that particular white rose you see. I have some folks heading out. Like I said, this is a very lively campground. There's a lot of activity going on. A whole lot different than the last couple of campgrounds we've been to. Well, let me show you this. That's the connection I was talking about. You see, you can't fasten anything in there. You just have to set it down. All right. We're in the south, so there's no no need for any special kind of water connection <clears throat> it'll do oh, plenty of trees in this this campground stand in front of the truck show you guys our the area you can see this is pretty crowded there was a wedding here last night I don't know if that had to do with anything but anyway 
Remember, we do this for every campground we go to. If you find value in this little walk around or the drive throughs go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll, uh, that way you can stay as informed as we are. We enjoy camping. We'll do it every time. Alright folks, happy kick. <laughs> Alright folks, happy trails. Happy camping. Yeah, um. We're just gonna stand here and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> As always, we're gonna give you the site drive through. I'm <laughs> the driving through the site. We're not driving through the site. <laughs> right, this is not, you're hiding in the trail. Move. <laughs> I'm just peeking. You didn't even say about your RV recon. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I you said, said hey, hi, folks, it's Mike and Angel. No, I didn't. I said it. You'll see when you watch this. I forgive I you, I baby. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> you guys just stay tuned because uh, as the longer you look at us, the prettier we get. How about that? Stop.